Hey guys, Daniel the Adjuster here. Thank you so much for coming back to another video. I know it's been a little while since we've gotten together and talked about some stuff. I've been getting a lot of questions about macros. So I wanted to hit a short little video regarding macros and how they work and how I use them on every estimate. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And hey, don't forget to check out my other videos. I've got an, ex an Xactimate training series here. If you are learning this program for the first time, if you would watch all of those videos, you will know this program far better than most training programs out there. Because I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do things with your estimates that a lot of these programs just don't take the time several hours, if not about four or five hours worth of training there. Watch it, you will learn. All right, let's get right to it. So let's head over to our estimate. I wanted to show you guys this estimate that I've been working on uh, and show you how macros work so that you too can be a fast uh, estimator and a person who remembers how to do things uh, quickly. Now, the reason why I use macros is because when I, when I do estimates, a lot of times we do the same processes over and over again. Meaning, uh, for instance, when I add appliances to my estimate, so like your fridge, your stove, and your dishwasher, they're pretty much commonplace in every kitchen uh, that is out there. Sometimes you'll have a stove that's built on countertop, so you have to take that one out. But hey, I could go in here and list each item, but what I like to do is I like to use my macros. So what I do is I have, uh, go up into Options, Macros, and they're listed, when I click on this, they're gonna open up a list of all my macros. And in here I have about, oh, I don't know, two or 300 different macros uh, listed. Sometimes I'll list them based on carriers, so ASI listed at the first, uh, come down a little bit further. Um, I'm gonna have all your exteriors for fence, fascia, garage doors, glass block windows, gutters and screens. Uh, Heritage, I actually did some work for them, so I had some specifically for them. HM is Horace Mann, uh, quite a bit for them I do. Uh, if I have HVAC stuff, uh, power washing, hey, porta potty, even got one of those. <laughs> but I come down and I've got everything listed. So things are like solo tubes, really hard. Sometimes I don't come up with those very often. I have to, instead of looking up the code, I just saved a macro to, to quickly be able to pop those in. Solar panels, skylights, I uh, come down here, I do a lot of work for Universal, so I've specifically set up a lot of Universal macros, UPC, uh, and the list goes on and on. It just keeps going all the way down here. Uh, literally, I, I, just hundreds, I think there's two or 300 in there. So for instance, quickly, I wanted to put in, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna quickly put in my appliances. So I highlight the room, so I have nothing in my estimate, come up into macros, and then I click, uh, I can either click, go down, find it, or I can just type in what I'm looking for. I'm looking for appliances. And happens, this one actually has a gas range. Uh, some of them just have regular kitchen. Maybe I only have just the detach and the reset of the kitchen appliances. Anyway, so I just double click on that and boom. Three seconds, two seconds later, I've got the refrigerator remove and reset, the range, which is gas, remove and reset, and the dishwasher, detach and reset. All in place in one second. There's part of my estimate. I also have this cool little title that I've already set up, and this shows up as bold when we print the estimate, so to categorize my items. So the next thing, I'll just highlight the next line. Say I'm doing some cabinet repair. So if you remember on this photo, go back to this photo uh, here, we had some damage in the corner cabinet here and I've got granite countertops, and I've got some laminate floor damage. So you come through here, there's my cabinet damage inside there. So this is in the back corner, some water damage in the back corner. I had some laminate, actually this is engineered, but it is laminate, but it's in engineered products. So you basically can add that on to your, to your estimate. Um, so basically when I come back to my sketch, 
I want to replace, if I zoom into my estimate, I'm replacing a cabinet that's back here. See, so notice I've got my circles here that highlight the damaged area, water damage cabinets, and the source of water was right back in there. I've got damaged flooring on this side and damaged flooring on this side. So what I'm gonna be doing is replacing the cabinets and the flooring for this whole area. So again, click on the room that you wanna highlight it to, come through to macros, and I'm gonna put in engineer, short form for engineered, E-N-G. And then I look down here, I've got lots of different things. So I've got universals, I've got Horace Mann, I've got some glue down engineered flooring macros, I've got ASI. So basically what I'm looking for here is engineered floors with paint and with painted shoe. So I double click on that and boom, I've got my contents. So here's my title again. Oops, this sometimes just goes back to everything. So let's go back, highlight just the room and come back and you'll see I've got my title for floors, content manipulation, engineered floors, okay? And sometimes I'll even put a, a little note. I can save these notes, guys, in my macros as well. It's water damaged. Simple, but I like to tell people what's wrong with it. I've got base shoe. I'm gonna detach and reset my base shoe. This is also set up as perimeter floor subtract window opening linear footage. So if I've got wolf listed, that's gonna subtract my large openings. And uh, if I was doing um, just basically wall openings, actually I think it's called not windows, but wall openings, linear footage. Any type of wall opening is your cased openings, your doors, double doors, all that stuff is is window opening, or I keep calling it window, wall opening linear footage. You wanna subtract those. Then I've got your seal and paint, I've got your paint baseboard, and got some doors. I've gotta detach these, these doors when I'm installing the flooring. Uh, that flooring contractor is going to remove and reset those doors because it makes it easier to set his flooring. So we need to pay him for that. Uh, you know, it's $21 a door. Take it off, put it back on. Got to pay them. Okay, so that's the quick fix for floors. Now what I talked about is I've got a cabinet repair. So I go into my macros, and sometimes it's a little bit slow here. <laughs> I'll put in cabinets for short form for it to look up. And I've got cabinet single sink. I've got cabinet low. So here, here's a great one. Cabinet low with granite and the sink. So let's double, double click on that. Very slow program this morning. This is a web-based program, guys. This is not my computer that's slowing it down. Uh, this is just sometimes you'll run into this uh, on, on occasion. So you go down here, there's my label, cabinets, cabinet lower base. All I'd have to do is change the linear footage. In this case, I've got three feet that I'm replacing. Three feet back in here, but I may have to replace or I take out, because I'm taking the dishwasher out, I, I can get to that cabinet, but maybe I would have to replace or remove and replace this cabinet here on the end in order to get to that cabinet. So I might need to bump that up. Countertops, you basically are gonna have to remove and replace these countertops. So I, I count the linear footages, six, and this is five, that's 11, or round up to 11.5. I just can do 12 times two feet because you gotta remember this is square feet. 12 times two is 24 square feet. I've got a P-trap, which is underneath the sink. I've got a garbage disposal I've got to detach and reset. And angle stop valves, two for the sink, one for the dishwasher. I'm gonna be removing those valves in order to detach the sink and detach that line that goes in behind that cabinet for the dishwasher. So before, we don't put old ones back on, we put new ones. And I've also got an undermount sink that I've got to detach and reset as well. Uh, I've got to add that in as well. So there you go. Quick three clicks of macros got me everything I need for that uh, kitchen there. So can you write an estimate that quickly? Pop it in, having to look up each item? No, <laughs> I know you can't. And I can't either. And that's why I came up with these macros. You can build them, but hey, I sell them for you. $49.95 will get you about two or 300 macros that I use every day. So if you want to be a better adjuster, hey, maybe you're brand new getting started and you just want to get out there and learn how to write estimates, copy my estimates. 
These are quick little estimate starters that help you become a better estimator because you won't leave out the primary items that are a part of an estimate that the carriers are looking for. So check out the link for my macros, make you a better adjuster. I'm just here to help you guys. You don't have to buy them, I'm not trying to force them to you, but I bought them when I was younger as an adjuster, I bought them from somebody and they were invaluable. And then what I've done is I've created my own based on his macros. I learned, I think I got about 50 macros from him when I first started, and he really helped me write some good estimates. But the interesting part about these is that each carrier has a specific way that they write their estimates. And you will need to save those because you can't use other carriers' uh, way of writing things for that specific carrier. So I've saved them to specific carrier descriptions. So if you work for ASI, Universal, UPC, Horace Mann, any of those, uh, those uh, carriers, then my macros will work great for you, but you can also tweak them slightly to work for your state farms or all states, Liberty Mutual, all those other ones as well. So Daniel the Adjuster here signing off for you with another quick tip to help you become the best adjuster. <laughs> See you on the next one. Bye-bye.